third straight time you had used Wandy Peralta. Just any doubt that you had him available tonight, and what did you think of the job that he did to close it down? Yeah, it was great, and I mean, so efficient too. You know, um, you know, I, I had low going, uh, so I was only going to go three hitters there with Wandy, and didn't really want to get low in the game, and um, so. <clears throat> For him to just come in and just execute right from Jump Street was huge. Um, was there any doubt? I mean, this morning and coming to the ballpark, um, but you know, right away, um, you know, he said he was good and wanted the ball, so uh, I was going to go to him. You know, in a short spurt, but but you know, it had happened to line up there in the ninth for that lane that I wanted him in, and and he was he was terrific again. Uh, Chris in the second row. <laughs> Is there any possibility of Wandy being available tomorrow, or is that a wait and see situation? Yeah, well, it'll wait and see. Um, you know, hopefully it helped that. You know, I think he threw in the single digit pitch wise. Maybe that'll help. You know, I'll have Nestor available tomorrow in, in kind of that role though too. So uh, we'll just see see how he wakes up. See see what we're looking at when we get to the ballpark. For, for Nestor, <coughs> do you have an idea of how much he can give give you tomorrow? We'll see. Um, you know, we'll see. Oh, hopefully, I don't have to use him. You know, uh, but but he'll be ready to go, and um, you know, I don't want to put a limit on it. We'll stay.